It has been three weeks since my competition and I haven't been to the gym. I've been trying to recover from the dehydration, the calorie deficit, and generally a depleted reserve of willpower. On top of all that, I got sick with some very sus symptoms, breaching COVID territory, but luckily my body has been a champ and decided to fight it by sleeping 12 hours a day. For you to get the context of this video and the message I'm trying to relay here, I have to first tell you where I've been and uh, what I've been doing with my life. Since May 30 of this year, I decided to go on a cut. It's something I've been planning to do for the past three years and never gotten around to. Yes, I know the exact date because I wrote it down in everything. The cut was supposed to last for 12 weeks, starting from a chubby and happy 159.1 pounds to a goal weight of about a shredded and miserable 145 pounds. But the twist is, six weeks into the cut, I heard news of the NPC Mr. Philippines competition. So instead of the original 12 weeks of prep, I had to extend to a 14 week period of dieting. No, God! No! Needless to say, I lost a good 15 pounds in preparation for my second competition ever. It was a lot of fun, a great experience to say the least. But like I said, it has been three weeks since that time and I haven't touched dumbbell since. It's one of those classic ending lines in a movie where the protagonist gets the happy ending and then the side character is like, what now? What do we do now, Mr. Hero? Now that I'm talking about it, I do notice a pattern in my procrastination time frame. It seems to be in chunks of three, you know, three years, three weeks, which I think is quite funny. Anyway, boys and girls, this is the next phase. Since I'm basically starting from square one, the goal of this series is to take you through my training process, my training philosophy, show you how I reestablish the habits I lost, and of course, to share my thoughts on how to rekindle motivation. Keep in mind that at the peak of my competition prep, I was going to the gym six times a week, enduring high volume sets, pushing till failure, doing 30 minutes of cardio every day, eating at a deficit, grinding, sweating, crying, and pushing my limits. It was a beast version of myself that I aspire to be. At least, you know, um, I try to be. After the show, I stopped. That's, that's just the sad truth, you know. I, I am human after all, and I can't work that extreme for too long. Now, how do I bounce back when I start to slip into the old habits? Let's start with the training. A huge mistake, huge, huge mistake that most people make is they try to do too much too soon. And, you know, they try to rush. They want to get into the zone immediately. But they have to um, assess themselves. They have to know uh, how to pace themselves. Because if they do too much, they end up stressing themselves out and too exhausted to continue. My workaround, full body workout, two sets of everything, three days. Doesn't matter if it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I just made a decision that I have to do that Routine three times within the week. Oh, and I have to throw in a 20 minute cardio session in there somewhere. The full body workout is a basic routine consisting of two sets per body part, around eight to 12 reps. And I'm not gonna be worried about going to failure just yet. The purpose of this routine is just to prime the muscles and the joints for the weeks to come. Now I notice something about the universe in all its glory. Whenever I decide to start some kind of regimen or a commitment to a schedule, the world just doesn't seem to cooperate. Case in point, I had to stop mid-workout because I had to grab some important documents from my aunt who happened to be in the city. So it's like I paid the gym fee, did a few sets of chest, and left feeling like a total gym bro. Of course, I came back an hour and a half later to do the rest of the workout. So my Monday routine looked like this. After almost a one month hiatus, I gotta tell you, those weights felt pretty heavy. As for food, I didn't have a particular goal yet, but I made sure to track everything I ate that day, which was about 3,000 calories. The next day, I was so sore and unmotivated to do anything. Pretty uneventful for a Tuesday, so I just focused on eating around 2,800 calories. I believe I ate an entire box of pizza that night as well. Day three, and I'm gonna be honest, 
I was just not having it. My excitement from the first day has already plummeted and I'm struggling to do the third of the work that I have to do this week. It's probably the anticipated boredom from doing just two sets per body part. And I was also feeling fatigued, you know, just early on in the set and my muscles were already burning just a few reps in. So that was not fun for me. But hey, I've been in this situation hundreds of times. You will not be motivated every day. So this is where discipline comes in. I did the same full body routine with just a few variations. I made sure to keep my tempo slow and controlled, getting the body used to the movements again and trying to get a feel for the exercises that I would want to include in my official training phase. You know how I said I didn't have a particular plan in terms of diet? Yeah, I noticed I was eating 120 grams of fat every day. Good gosh, that's why I felt so lethargic. Fat actually slows down the intake of carbs, you know, the intake of energy. So eating too much of it just made me feel bad. The calories matter, of course. But my friends, if you're looking to transform your body and actually make progress in the gym, you have to worry about the macronutrients that make up those calories, namely the protein, carbs, and fats. I had to manage my fat intake since that was always the culprit negatively affecting my health and my mood. My guess is it's all the peanut butter, uh, peanuts, ice creams, and burgers I was eating all week long. Now Saturday was interesting because I felt no interest in the gym at all. At this point, my motivation is zero. I, you know, it's just the reality. Uh, just no fire there. I probably came across a workout video. You know, um, that's what I do before I go to sleep or take a nap. So I was just lying in bed, browsing through YouTube shorts, which reminded me of my prep days. And just something about that, something in me just clicked. You know, without a second of hesitation, I jumped out of bed and said, screw it, it's time to get big, baby. Dude, are you serious? You've been in bed all day and all you do is scroll through TikTok. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get up my bed right now and go to the gym. It's time to get you, baby, let's go. I, little, I took my pre-workout and I rushed to the gym. The best part was I felt my strength coming back. I think I just, I just, I was just unmotivated because of the exhaustion from the first two workouts. But now that my body is, has recognized that I'm getting back into a routine, I think I recovered well enough for this workout. I did the same routine and my sets seemed much better. I still struggled with the pull-ups, but it was overall my best workout of the week. When Sunday rolled around, I knew I could rest peacefully, knowing I completed my first three workouts. It was a start. It didn't start great, but it's nice to get something going. In my head, I was thinking if I can get through the first three workout days, then three weeks is easy. If I can get through three weeks, I can do the next three months, then three years, and so on. Trust me. This mindset kept me going for all 10 years of my fitness journey. So I topped the Sunday off with a 20 minute cardio session. Nothing too fancy, just a level 12 incline at five speed. So that concludes this week. I have a lot of work to do, but it's exciting to uh, start again. My goal this year is to reach 500 subscribers. I would really appreciate if you sub to the channel. I won't bother you that much. I upload like, I don't know, once a year. <laughs> I don't even know how I call myself a content creator. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.